So with the A86 cart nearly done, uh, I'm working on the fuel system now, and I'm doing something a little bit unique, something different than you usually see on most cars. So in this video, I'm gonna be explaining to you how it works and the benefits of it. So this right here is basically your average surge tank. Uh, it takes fuel from the tank, boom, runs it to a fuel pressure regulator, or to a fuel pump, to a fuel pressure regulator, which is usually up at the engine. Uh, this is a deadhead system, so sometimes you'll see this line going to the fuel rail, fuel rail going to this, and then this feeding back to the surge tank. Um, in this case, we're just feeding it right back, and then that line is going up to the engine, and it's basically sending the proper fuel pressure right away. So the biggest difference with this is instead of there being a lift pump from the fuel cell or fuel tank going to the surge tank, I'm running a gravity fed system. So basically, typically you'd have a line coming in and a line going out like a return line. Um, and the line coming in right here would have a fuel pump on it, like a lower capacity fuel pump than this one right here. Uh, but in this case, it's gravity fed. So if we end up with too much fuel here, the extra fuel will just go up. But at most times, the fuel is just going to be coming down into the surge tank. And basically, this surge tank here is going to stay full all the way with fuel. Uh, there, should, there might be like a little air bubble at the top. Maybe, maybe, probably not. Um, so basically, the fuel pump always has a constant supply of fuel. Um, if we put the fuel pump directly from that port to there, then the fuel pressure would drop if all the fuel sloshed over to one side and we ran out of fuel that was just in the line. So in this case, we have this little reservoir of fuel left over. If we slosh it over, all the fuel over to one side and say we're low on gas, you know, everything comes over this side of the tank. Um, we won't starve because we got a little extra I think this is about a half a liter so we got a half a liter extra fuel ready to go before the fuel pump starves and sends air to the engine which could be catastrophic in some cases one of the downsides to running your fuel pressure regulator back here though is you have to run a vacuum line from the engine to there so this won't get instant vacuum reading uh, it'll take it'll take a second or two uh, but that's not a huge deal with a naturally aspirated engine. Uh, with a turbo engine, the fuel, the boost may rise quicker than the fuel pressure regulator could keep up with, and then that could cause problems with excess, too low fuel pressure. So I hope this video helped you out. Um, if you're running a similar setup to this, where your fuel tank is above your surge tank, then you could run a setup like this on your car. Um, it'd work pretty well on a cart, not so well on the average car where your fuel tank might be back here or whatever. You wanna make sure you got a good amount of gravity to push the fuel down. You don't wanna to try to send the fuel nearly level. And thanks for watching.